Hey, shout out to the body of Christ. It's your boy, Prince Fred, your favorite Israelite. Now, let me say this to you quick, fast, and in a hurry. You know, us that keep the law, statutes, and commandments, the number one thing is what we always talk about Christ, the only thing that Christ done away with was the sacrificial offerings. Uh, the Holy Ghost was in the uh, Old Covenant, the Holy Ghost in the New Covenant. You know, the Father was in the Old Covenant. You know, He's in the New Covenant. Uh, Jesus was in the Old Covenant. Guess what? Jesus in the New Covenant. Uh, so none of that is different. None of that is new. None of that is new. But what did Christ come and put an end to? He put an end to the sacrificial laws. People make it seem like it's not a big deal. All he did was, you know, put away that when we fall short, we don't got to kill an animal. You know, what? this is the number one thing a lot of people uh, don't understand and, and how important it is when the Bible talks about how Christ died for our sins. In the Old Covenant, uh, certain sins you could have just gave an animal but some sins literally it was your life when you commit an adultery guess what happened they will take you and the female out and stone y'all to death or stone them to death sacrifice the kids you get killed for that breaking the sabbath you get killed for that being a homosexual you get killed for that you would get killed for those things and many more uh, immediately. See, when Christ put away the sacrificial law, he also put away that. And that's what that's why it's so important to truly understand dealing with the sacrificial law. A lot of times in the Old Testament, when people fell short, they could have just sacrificed. A certain animal for their sins to be forgiven but some sins like I mentioned homosexuality sacrifice a kid worshiping other gods guess what <laughs> you couldn't sacrifice an animal for those sins you know what the sacrifice was it was yourself it was your life they would literally grab you and stone you that is a number one thing that was like, it's so big, it's so much more than just the animal sacrifices. Like you said, blood had to be shed for sin. Blood have to be shed. That's why an animal had to be killed. That's why you committed adultery. Guess what? You had to be killed. Blood had to be shed. And that's what a lot of people don't understand and don't get. It's bigger than just sacrificing some animals. It is. It's so much bigger. Because you know what? You know how many people living right now that should have been stoned to death immediately for their sins? Oh, so many people out here committed adultery, you know, worshiping other gods. You know how many people that would have been killed immediately? You know, but that's why we're in the new covenant now or parts of the new covenant now. Because that's our whole point of the grace. You know, uh, so the grace is connected to which I tell everybody all the time. Grace is nothing but time. In the Old Testament, yes, they had grace, but the abundance of grace. Pfft, oh, man, it's, it's, it's more than ever. It's more than ever. <laughs> you know, and that's why Paul mentioned that we shouldn't abuse the grace. <laughs> God forbid. We don't supposed to abuse the grace because you know what? This grace is giving you time to get the sin out of your life. So when the Bible talks about how Christ died for your sins, yes, he died for your sin, but you know what? He died for the sin that... What you supposed to die for? He died for it already. So now he wants you to get your life straight. If you are, uh, uh, if you worshiping uh, another God, 
You were supposed to be put to death for that. But since God, since uh, God, since Jesus, you know, the Son of God died for that sin, guess what? You're not getting put to death immediately. Because that was part of the sacrificial offering. Something had to die. That's why the Bible mentioned that Christ died once and once for all. You don't need no other sacrifice. He did it. He's our high priest. He's in heaven. Talking to the Father on our behalf. But people don't understand. They just look at it like, oh, it's just the sacrificial offer. That sacrificial offer is huge. Huge. It just gives you time to get the sin out of your life. That's why the Bible mentioned about, you know, uh, you know, God want all men to be saved. He do. He really do. <laughs> He's given us time. But a lot, and the sad thing about it, a lot of people just not going to be saved. A lot of people just not going to make it into the kingdom. You know, it is what it is. It is what it is. If you know the truth, if you keep his laws, statutes, and commandments, guess what? You're going to make it into the kingdom. If you're not keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments, guess what? Like you said, I'm not I'm not a person that's going to judge someone uh, to the lake of fire. I'm not. That is out of my judgment. You know, that is out of my, you know, uh, powers. But the only thing I know is if you don't keep the law, such as commandment, according to the book, I don't have a, a, a kingdom or a lake of fire to put you in. But my know one thing for a fact, those that break the commandments. Oh, yeah, they're going to they gonna hit that lake. They're going to hit that lake. You know, but like you say, God, God know the man heart, you know, period. God know the man heart. Just like the, the thief on the cross. Like you said, you know, was he keeping the laws as the commandments? Absolutely not, because he wouldn't even be on the cross. <laughs> but you know what? Jesus seeing his heart, he know that if he would have got off that cross, he would have walked in his laws, such as saying commandments fully. He know the heart of man. And guess what? What he tell him? You will be with me in the kingdom forever. So that's what people just do not know. Or oh, they make it seem like it's not a big deal. Oh, he only died for the sacrificial law. Whoopie do, no big deal. That's all that he died for. It's so much more to that. But a lot of people don't talk about it. A lot of people don't dig into that. You know, so, uh, you know, he even mentioned it. And it's very, very clear. You know, he mentioned it in uh, Daniel 9. Uh, he mentioned it, you know, in Hebrews. If you read 8, uh, 8, 9, and 10. You know, you read the first, I think, 10 or 13 verses in, in uh, Hebrews 10. You know, he clearly let you know that he put away with the sacrifices. Uh, clear as day. You know, it's funny. He did not put away the law, statutes, and commandments. Because that's what a lot of people say. Or believe because they say that they have run to this scripture not this scripture but they have run in this verse and they say uh, see look you know what the law could not do or the law could not save it's not talking about if you keep his law statutes and commandments you wasn't able to be saved it's not talking about that people it's not talking about that at all when the Bible talk mention anything dealing with the law was flawed, the law was weak, the law couldn't, it was talking about literally, it could not save. That's what he's talking about. Because if you was a homosexual, how many homosexuals now giving their hearts to the Most High Yana? Turning away from that sin and, and walking out his law, statutes, and commandments. But you know what? The law could not save. Why? Because right when they found that person was a homosexual, guess what? Under the law, under the old covenant, guess what? You couldn't sacrifice an animal. You had to die. You had to die. It wasn't no forgiveness uh, of sin for that uh, sin. You had to get put to death. Commit no adultery. You had to get put to death. Sacrifice the kids. You had to be put to death death so when the bible talk about you you know the law could not do or the law could not save that's what it's talking about it's not saying that the law could not save a righteous man stop it but like you said but this is the stuff that we hear 
a lot of time. But like I said, if you don't know the law, that's why it's so important to understand the law. And like you said, I'm going to keep it 100. I used to be there. I used to believe that. Even in the old covenant, what it say? What's the whole duty of man? The whole duty for man in that time and this time is to fear the Lord and keep his commandments. Period. That's the whole conclusion of the matter. <laughs> Period. You know, the law, statutes, and commandments is, is, is good for that time. Guess what? It's good for now. If you love me, keep my commandments. <laughs> But like you said, a lot of people, man, they 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 don't understand what the, the word of God is talking about when he mentions certain things. And then all of a sudden, it's like you come up with your own personal doctrine. And that's what go. That's when that's how you get over 4,500 different denominations in, in, in Christianity. And that's a fact. That's that's a fact. Uh, <laughs> I ain't making that up, you know. But it's, it's mind-blowing. It's amazing. It really is, though. So, people, please, when you talk about the sacrificial offering, it's not just talking about animals being sacrificed. It also connects to you not dying immediately, which is giving you grace and giving you time to get the sin out of your life. And when the Bible mentions anything about, like, the law is done away with the law, is uh you know the law could not do when he's talking about being saved uh being uh yeah being saved from the punishment of certain sins that's that's all what it's talking about it's, it's not talking about nothing else it's not talking about if you live a holy and righteous lifestyle just because you was under the uh the old covenant everybody went to hell nobody was able to make it into the kingdom no, it don't got nothing to do with laws, statutes, and commandments. And it was something else, you know. And like you said, that's something else too. You know, something else. A lot of people in that time, like I said, that's why uh, the, the Bible talk about that he's going to write his laws on your heart. On your heart. Think about this. In that time, a lot of people was doing this. They were sacrificing animals. <laughs> they were sacrificing animals knowing dang well that they were going to continue in that sin. Just because they thought that they can sacrifice animals and then they'd be all good with the Lord. You know, that's the same thing going on now. How many people know that they are going prayer, ask the Lord for forgiveness, and already have in, they, in the back of their mind that they're going to continue in that sin? You know, I used to do it when I was younger. I used to do it. I used to be in prayer asking the Lord to, to do things for me and, and ask the Lord to forgive me for my sin, knowing dang well that if the opportunity came, I was going to fall. I was going to literally do the same exact thing. But you know what? Thank God for his grace. Thank God for constantly getting in prayer, constantly praying, and the Lord delivered me. And I thank God for that. But it's nothing, like you say, the people in that time were the same like the people in this time. You know, you can't be slick. That's why he said he's going to write his laws on your heart. <laughs> he don't want people to be playing the game. He want people that's actually going to love them. He want people that is not going to just do certain things just because of the penalty of death. Even though the Bible do talk about, you know, some scarcely, you know, make it in, you know. But at the end of the day, guess what? When you write it on your heart, you love him. You want to do his will. You want to please him. You want to make him happy. You want to put a smile on his face. You want to live holy. He going to write his commandments on your heart. He's just not, you're just not going to be doing something like, you know what, all right, man, I really want to have sex with this chick, but you know what, I know if I have sex with this chick, you know, I don't want to, and I get caught slipping, that means I got to die immediately. Nope, nobody ain't trying to go through that. That's why a lot of people didn't do it, but guess what, you still have some people that are still doing it, and guess what, they had to deal with them, uh, with the punishment, 
But you know, it's just something to think about. I know this video is longer than what I expected, but it just gave you something to think about. It's your boy Prince Fred. Christ!